There are many metaphysics tools in, in the metaphysics uh, sphere. There's Chiman, there's Bazi, there's Yijing, there's Feng Shui. Now, why Feng Shui? This is important. The reason we are using Feng Shui, it is because of this. Feng Shui changes, uh, uh, you want to change the circumstances. When you want to change the circumstances, you use Feng Shui. Because most people see their problems as external. I know what we should be doing is look at the internal world. That's Bazi, right? I know. But most people don't think they are the problem. Most people think that the problem is at the outside. All right, 90% of the time, even myself sometimes, oh, is this fault or that person's fault? But in reality, is I should be controlling myself. But really, if you want to change the circumstances in which is now affecting your life, Feng Shui is the best tool for it. Just before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. So I just want to point out a few things here. Because uh, this is a lot of questions also ask, how do I know if my feng shui is right? How do I know if my life palace is right? How, how do I know if my identity palace is wrong, right? So there are a few indicators um, uh, in your um, daily lives. It, it, it will tell you, it will indicate for you when would be, um, you know, when, when feng shui goes wrong. So this is generally uh, how it is. Uh, if you fall sick all the time with unknown causes, that means you check with a doctor, you don't know why you're sick all the time, uh, and after moving to this house or staying in this house, there could be a feng shui problem or you're bad tempered and extremely easily agitated all the time. It's also one of the possible reasons because your chi energy in the house or in your home uh, is not good. See, this, at this period of time, uh, this is one of the big things where, um, you know, we have an MCO here in Malaysia or there's a, a circuit breaker in, in Singapore or there's a lockdown uh, uh, generally around the world. A lot of people stay home and there's a lot of domestic violence, right? A lot of uh, issues ha happen at home because bad tempers, uh, it, uh, uh, people get easily agitated. The feng shui of the home is not good at all. If you stay in the house and you get ag uh, agitated or irritated by your spouse or every, anything else, even the, the air conditioner sound is piss you off, there could be something wrong with your feng shui. Um, maybe career obstructions, one after another. So many career obstructions is blocking you. And um, now you may say, but yeah, of course, this is the, it's the uh, pandemic. Of course, there are career obstructions. No, I think a lot of people as well are career doing fine. Their feng shui somehow fall into place. I'll tell you how it works. But if there's abnormal circumstances happening to you in your career, that could be a feng shui issue, okay? Or maybe a loss of direction. Suddenly, uh, moving into this new place or staying in this place, Suddenly, there's no direction in life. You don't know what you're supposed to be doing. You, you seem to be tired all the time, lack of energy. And uh, your passion seemed to diminish. You were more passionate back then and there's a zest for life. And now, there seems to be lesser and lesser. And basically, there's extreme negativity at home. So if that's the case, that's or what you're facing, uh, it could be signs of bad feng shui, okay? And it could be one of the palaces uh, being affected. Or uh, I'll show you how to, to see that because now I'm trying to bring you to how do you recognize that you need to fix your feng shui? Because most people say, I don't know whether I should be doing feng shui or not, whether it's important. When you have any of these signs, uh, these are the times where you will need to do something about it. Or how do you know your feng shui is right? You will feel a vibrant energy and positivity at home. That's for sure, right? If you have good feng shui, you set up your feng shui nicely, generally, you're vibrant, you're energetic, right? Not hyper, but energetic, but positive. You have the energy, right? And um, if your feng shui is set right, opportunities will fall into your lap. Generally, if one disappear, one comes, and you or at least you're able to be aware of it. And this is the key word, serendipity. Let me explain this to you. When I uh, set up my house feng shui, um, I didn't set up specifically for the pandemic, for the lockdown, but when the feng shui is right, this is what happened last year, uh, some of you already know this. Last year, around November, I set up what you see right here. This, this whole studio, this is a bedroom, by the way. I set this whole place up for uh, my home studio to do recording. Now, I did this without knowing that there's going to be a lockdown. Nobody can predict lockdown, but somehow, serendipity. At that time, you know, my team, my management say, hey, you're, you, you don't do stupid things spending money for no reason. We got, a, we got our workshop, we got our, our hall somewhere else. We could actually use that. Why are we using this place? For some reason, I just knew that I need to set this up. And true enough, by March of this year, this whole place that you're seeing right now, you can see the whole screen here. I've been using this for my live screen. So uh, that's called serendipity, doing, doing the thing that seemed to be wrong, but turned out to be right, being at the wrong place, but turned out to be right, making a decision that didn't seem so right, but it moved me to the right direction. So that if you have a lot of, uh, if you had a lot of this, okay, 
um, in, in your life that generally your feng shui is good, okay? Or you have the support from helpful people, from your mentors. It's not easy to find a mentor. Mentor finds you, right? Noble people. So if you have your feng shui set up right, you get a lot of support from the right people and you get recognition that you deserve. This is very, very important. Recognition that, um, you know, that for the work that you've done. A lot of people do a lot of things behind the scene for a long time. They actually don't, um, people don't notice them. But if you did the feng shui right, or your feng shui is right, you get the recognition, you get the awards, you get the uh, position. And more importantly, peace and harmony in the relationships. This is so important. Uh, if you go back to your home, I always say this, right? If you go to, back to your house and you see your wife's face, you want to vomit, you're, you have bad feng shui, okay? If you, you basically, if you see someone in the house and you want to punch their face, then, <laughs> or they want to punch your face, then something is wrong with your house feng shui. You got to go and fix that because you're not going to be happy staying in, in that home, okay? So, or um, you have problems with fulfillment and happiness. This is not happy, you don't know for what reason you're unhappy, you can't really sleep. Um, that's the issue. And of course, this is what we all want right now, protection from calamities. That is good feng shui. So, when we say, when we say, uh, when our feng shui is right, we're generally saying that we have all these uh, features, okay?